the last video we discovered that depressions are three-dimensional features. You can look at them from above, the plan view, and from the side, the cross-section view. Next, we're going to discover the depressions or moving features. And we're coming back to our plan view for, for this one. And I just want to orientate you, first of all, a bit to see where we are with the depression. There's the center of it. There's the air circulating around. There is your warmer TM air coming up from the southwest and colder PM coming down from the northwest. And here is your front forming there when they, the air masses meet, but don't mix. And we've got a warm front coming down here. Now what I want you to do is to watch what happens to this as I animate this forward over the next few hours. And what you're going to see is it moving from here across the British Isles. Here we go. So we can talk about our air and our weather mostly coming from the west. There's the prevailing winds coming from the west. And you see them just traveling over and over and over and with the different parts of the depression affecting us at different times. So as it tracks over from the west, over the, the top of us, what weather does it bring? This presentation is going to show you what happens as the depression passes overhead. We're going to imagine that we're standing here as the depression goes over us. We don't need to move anywhere. We stand here, all parts of that depression will move over the top of us. So here we go. So as we're standing here, the first thing that we're experiencing in terms of weather is the cool PM air. It's coming from the southwest. But overhead, the first hint that a front is approaching and a depression is coming is some cirrus clouds, the high wispy clouds overhead. As the front gets closer, the clouds get lower and slightly more dense, and then you will get some drizzle forming. Then it moves across. The next part of the depression that we experience as we're standing here is the warm front. The warm front brings nimble stratus clouds, so you'll get a layer cloud there. Nimble means rain bringing, so surprise, surprise, the warm front brings the rain. Now, as we stand here and the warm front passes over, we're about to go into the warm sector. What changes in the weather do you think that's going to bring? Well, the first thing you should notice is that it, the temperature will go up two or three degrees because now we've got a mild TM air with a westerly wind. You'll get maybe a little bit of stratus cloud, maybe no clouds, um, but if it do, it's very, very low and it tends to be um, patchy uh, and you will get little or no drizzle. The key thing here is that it's much, much milder, two or three degrees warmer. Then, of course, you're followed in by the cold front. Let's have a look at the weather that it brings. As the cold front comes overhead, this is where you get the most energetic weather very often in a depression. As the cold air undercuts the warm air and it rises, it rises more steeply and it cools, condenses to form the clouds, but not just clouds, your cumulonimbus clouds. And we've already seen the kinds of weather they can bring. Um, that's where you get your heavy rain in a depression. Then as it begins to clear, this is the next bit of a depression. I wonder what weather does it bring? As you move over then after the cold front, you've got now the cold PM air, this time coming from the northwest. Then you have this broken cloud, these cumulus clouds that bring the classic sunshine and showers weather. So that's the weather that you get as the depression passes overhead.